next video, we will have example A, that is a gravity driven flow, okay? It is very commonly seen in hospitals, okay? That is the intravenous infusions, okay? They are usually are driven by gravity by hanging the fluid bottle at sufficient height to counteract the blood pressure in the vein and force the fluid into the body, okay? You need to get a sufficient pressure so that it's great enough to force the fluid into the body. The higher the pressure is raised, the higher the flow rate of fluid will be, okay? And here we will take the density of fluid to be 1020 kilogram per meter cube, okay? There are two parts here. For part A, if it is of soft edge, the fluid and the blood pressure balances each other. When the bottle is 1.2 meter above the arm level, we need to determine the gauge pressure of the fluid. Uh, that would be a schematic of this problem, okay? So uh, the first thing, we need to assume one thing. We need to assume that this IV liquid, okay? This IV fluid is incompressible. Okay? So that we can apply the P gauge into rho GH. Otherwise, we need to do integration, okay? That's not what we want. So we need to assume that that's incompressible. And this assumption is failed, okay? And let us find out the gauge pressure, okay? By definition, we know that the gauge pressure of blood, okay? The gauge pressure of blood is equal to the absolute pressure of blood, okay? Minus the atmospheric pressure, okay? And we know that because the fluid and the blood pressure balances each other, their absolute pressure will be the same. So that uh, we can substitute this by absolute IV, okay? Minus PATM, okay? But we know that absolute pressure minus atmospheric pressure is again the gauge pressure. So it will be equal to rho IV GH, okay? After that, we just substitute those values, 1020.9.81 and 1.2, okay? And finally, we get 12007 Pascal, okay? If you change it to kilopascal, that will be equal to 12.0 kilopascal, uh, correct to three significance figures, okay? Okay, so uh, let's see part B, okay? If the gauge pressure of the fluid uh, at the arm level needs to be 20 kilopascal for sufficient flow rate. We need to determine how high the bottle must be placed. Here, we will assume that it is at a hydrostatic uh, condition, okay? We will not consider the case that uh, the fluid will flow, okay? We will assume that to be a hydrostatic condition so that we will again use the hydrostatic equation to deal with this problem, okay? So here, uh, as we know that the gauge pressure that we need is again given by rho IV times GH, okay? But here, we need to have 20 kilopascal, okay? We need to have 20 kilopascal so that the required pressure should be 20 times 1,000 pascal. That will be equal to 1020. That will be the density of the IV fluid times 9.81 times H, okay? The H is what we need. That is the height of the bottle that must be placed, okay? So the height you will get 2.00 meter, okay? Correct to three significant figures, okay? So that would be example eight.